Greetings. We should not linger here. You wanted something? Do you really need to ask? I'm sorry. I have a lot on my mind. The shadow fell. Night song. I can think of little else. Yes. I'm counting on it. I have little else to turn to. The sooner I speak to Nightsong, the sooner I'll know what the future holds for me. Assuming I have a future at all. I would not linger in this land over long. But, whatever your business, I will aid you if I can. In the curse. Ah. Oh. My favorite traveling. I will never tire of sitting on dead men's thrones. My blood ran hot. When we broke Catherick's bones together. But we have greater challenges ahead of us. It is clear now that he was not working alone. During my time in the cult, I came to know one of his co conspirators all too well Baal's blood letter, Orin. To think, I thought her to be speaking for the Absolute. I worshipped that woman. You make it sound so simple. She is the Chosen of Baal, Lord of Murder, and one of the cult's founders. Indeed. She is the one who indoctrinated me with the Absolute's lies. When I first visited Moonrise, I stood before the Absolute in awe. It was more of an idea than an entity. Pure love. Total power. Oren was by my side. She told me that God had chosen me to be a true soul. Blessed and adored. Now I know that those memories are lies. There was no God. Oren held me down in a cocoon of flesh, while a mind flayer forced a parasite into my brain. And she laughed at my fear. I will find her. I will murder her. And I will smile. There is no limit to my ambitions. I will enjoy killing Orin, but unlike her, I do not kill for pleasure alone. I kill to gain advantage, and we have the chance to seize the greatest advantage of all. Surely you see it. In killing Catherick, we fractured the cult's leadership. When we break the other Chosen and claim their Netherstones, we can take control.
<laughs> I would have thought this entire conspiracy of gods and monsters to be impossible if I had not seen it for myself. We may fail, but we must try. The power of the enslaved Elder Brain could reshape the world. We could reshape the world. Patience. If we do not prepare, Baldur's Gate will be our tomb. But if we are wise, it will be our dominion. First, we take the Netherstones, then the Brain, then the World. And then we will need no gods. We will be their equal. We will be absolute. We have a purpose and a bond. By my oath, I will fight with you while that purpose holds. There is yet one thing about you that troubles me, though. Something I need you to explain. Why come to Moonrise, where the cult's power is strongest? Why not walk away? True, but do not lose yourself to despair and fatalism. They tried to make victims of us, but we can take this opportunity to become gods. Now, I am ready to leave this damned place whenever you give the word. The city awaits. Something's on my mind. Nathaniel. Aelin! <gasps> Isabel! My love! You were dead! I saw your body! I'm here. And... and so are you. And my father, he... He can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. That somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? We look forward to it. You there, Sharon. By the fires of your camp's hearth, we will discuss all we must. I'll be ready. Whatever you have to say had better be worth your life. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. What was it like? 
like in there? In the curse. Thy hunger denied. Saluna's faithful yet shines. The balance shifts. Thou hast seen with thine own eyes and felt in thine urges. The dead three unite. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. I shall ask yet again, do illithids possess souls? Correct. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, O oh, tempted one? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. Nothing thou dost not already know. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake, and the gods shudder. We leave the heart of the Absolute alive, thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick, but Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. The road to Baldur's Gate is west of the town. If we hurry, we'll arrive before the Absolute's forces.
What do you know about me? You spoke of my past, being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You... Tethered to two others, someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere.
What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young, impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman, one who knows what must be done. My parents, I need to save them. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come, but not yet forearmed. It no longer has the power to harm me, now that I've removed it from Shah's domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough, but I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <laughs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And... my father. I heard what happened. What he'd become by killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. Not on purpose. Or not with the intent to deceive. I've been trying to make sense of it all. Catherick Thorm is... was... my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? Guilty. The moment I looked at Aelin, I just knew I had to be with her. I was hers. That was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal. After all, I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how, why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows, and then my father's face, so changed, so hideously warped. I didn't know that then, but I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now, said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak could only run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. 
By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them, and myself, no matter what. It's all out in the open now, and with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing, rest. I'm grateful for your help, your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long, but I'm grateful for a safe place to, well, just to be. Aside from the obvious. <laughs>